Hello and welcome to Red State Plus channel. In this tutorial, we will show you how to easily create a custom shape diff using SVG and CSS in just a few minutes. Ready? Let's check it out. So first, let's start with HTML structure. I'm going to create a div and assign a curve class to it. Then let's put some headline and text paragraphs. Next, the CSS. I'm going to set the background and text color and text alignment to center. Then increase the font size and set font family for aesthetic. Here's our current div. You will notice the space at the top because of the H1 margin. We'll remove that later. Now to create the shape of our div, we'll need to use SVG path. There are many ways to do this. You can draw it in Illustrator and export it as code, or you can use online generators. For this tutorial, we're going to use the latter. There are many good generators out there, but there are two that I like most. First is SVG Path Builder by Anthony Ducois. If you want to create a complex shape diff, this is the one for you. You can easily add and edit each point and the result code will be right at the bottom. Another one is getwaves.io. You can create wave shape easily using the random button. You can also switch between curves and rectangles. Once you are ready, click the export button and copy the code. I'm going to place it at the end of our div. The view box property defines the size of the SVG. Since we are not going to set the width and height, the SVG will scale to fit, so we don't have to worry about this for now. Next is fill. This is the color of our SVG shape. We will change it later. And the last one is the most important. The D property defines the path of the SVG. It should be noted that the code we copy from GetWaves have the entire SVG structure, while other generators like previous one from Anthony only have the path, and you have to write the SVG tag by yourself. And here's our div. You will see if we change the fill color of the SVG to white, it will look like the div has been cut to that shape. I will also set the SVG display to block to make sure it takes up the entire width. Also remove the headline top margin while adding the side for the paragraph. Looks good, but there is problem. You will notice a very thin line still remain. This happened in Firefox only, but not in Chrome. We can fix that by reducing the view box height by 1. Now we can use the same technique with the upper side of the div, except this time we will change the SVG fill color to orange, while change the div background to white. The good thing about using SVG is your div will scale responsively to the window size. And that's all for this tutorial. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe for more dev tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.